Hello everyone. Welcome to my video. I have been thinking lately about making art and what that looks like to me and about my first artistic love, poetry. When it comes to painting, every time I am faced with a blank paper, I stumble. The idea I had of what I wanted to paint starts to dilute and lose its form. I change my mind a hundred times before I even put the brush in the water. And I would say it's just part of my process, but there's a lot of self-doubt in this process. I am relatively new to watercolor, so I'm still learning and trying to figure out what exactly am I doing. Setting up, mixing colors, all of these things. And I am hoping that by looking back at my poetic journey, I might be able to find some answers, something to guide me in my new artistic endeavor. For some context, I have been writing poetry ever since I was a child, around the age of 10. So I moved past the part of understanding my process before the self-doubt and questions like, is this good enough, started to pop up in my mind. I grew into it naturally. So naturally, I have been trying to bring back that kind of freedom to my current process. I have always believed that poetry is the most rebellious of arts. At every turn in its evolution, at the emergence of a new current, every time poetry took on a new form, there was, and probably continues to be, a numerous and loud opposition that shouts from the top of their lungs, this is not poetry. Whether with the apparition of the free verse, which got rid of the limitations of rhymes and rhythm, or prose poetry, which eliminated the line breaks or concrete poetry, which relies more on the form than on the words to send its message across. Poetry stayed true to what it wanted to be, 
free, touching and inspiring. And with this exercise, I've been trying to mix these two arts, watercolor and poetry. I often search for meaning and purpose in everything that I do. I often forget that making art can be just about itself. Maybe I learn something new or got an idea out of my mind and put it into the world. The result is less important than the journey that I took to get there. And this exercise reminded me of that. This is the way I've always felt about poetry. I have hundreds of poems in different stages of completion, abandoned on scrap paper or the back of notebooks and agendas. Some actually finished, but not really chiseled, all forgotten. But they all served me to create the few poems that I actually loved and shared with the world.
Regardless of how it turned out, I was never afraid to pick up a pen and a piece of paper and write down a verse. So why do I feel that way about painting? Why am I so afraid to get started and make something bad? It's okay to make something that you don't consider good enough, like this painted poem is turning out to be already. It will take you to where you need to get. It will take me to where I need to get. Like with this piece, I love the idea, marrying poetry and watercolor like two halves of my artistic soul, taking the written word and using it to give contour to what I'm really working on, myself. And there are some elements that I really like about it, the nose, the shadows around the eyes, the lips. But overall, I don't like this piece very much. It's average, the proportions are wrong. But making this was not about the final product. It can be something I tuck away in a box and never think of it again, like the hundreds of verses I left behind. It was about the journey, the journey of understanding myself, my creative process, and facing my fear of not being good enough.
I hope to be able to take this lesson into my next painting. And if not, I hope to have the courage to make a hundred more bad paintings because I know they will take me to where I need to get.